Second half underway. You are a Red Diamonds and Arsenal, nil-nil at half-time. Arsenal made two changes at half-time. Lucas Podolski has come on, as has Rio Miachi, which will get a huge reception from the supporters here in his uh, native Japan. And you can see that's Olivier Giroud has gone off. Podolski playing in the central position. Theo Walcott is still on the pitch. Uh, Thomas Rosicki has also come on. So we've seen three changes, in fact. Uh, Serge gnabry has gone off. We'll just try and highlight the other change for you in a second. But uh, good to see uh, those changes being made. Well, we expected that there to be maybe two or three at half-time. That's happened, Jimmy, and, and no surprise that Rio's on, really, in front of his uh, home supporters. Yeah, no, fantastic for him. Obviously, uh, got his goal the other night and uh, would have been on, on cloud nine from, from then until till now, really. So he'll be looking to, to impress tonight. Um, Obviously, Podolski coming on, more or less a straight swap with uh, Olivia Giroud. Four changes now, I'm hearing. Aaron Ramsey's on as well. Ramsey's on as well. OK, good. So it looks like Arteta's gone off. I think Wilshire's gone off as well. So uh, it appears there's been four changes. Have any more? And a fifth change has sneaked up on me now. Cole Jenkinson's just come on as well. As uh, the home side come forwards. Well, I don't believe I made any changes at half-time. Well, I'm just going by the pictures, of course, and uh, there's no, no camera panning on anyone else apart from Rio Miachi for obvious reasons and uh, Lucas yes. Podolski. So we can tell you there's been five changes. I can see that Bakri San has gone into a centre-back position, so it appears that uh, Jenkinson has come on and he's playing at right-back. And uh, Mertesack has gone off. Over comes the corner, the player's challenging for the same ball, but it's uh, an Arsenal ball anyway. Kel just uh, got caught by his own goalkeeper there, Fabianski. Yeah, so quite a few changes now in the second half, and uh, obviously Arsenal Wenger looking to get to uh, rotate the squad somewhat and uh, get some of the players that uh, who didn't play in the first half, obviously some, some, uh, some match time, which is important, you know, getting all, all the lads uh, you know, some, uh, some good fitness. Yeah, so just to confirm, five changes by Arsenal at half-time. It's more than I expected, actually. I mean, we were expecting plenty in the second half. But uh, I, I suppose out of those who come off at half-time, Jack Wilshere played 45 minutes, and I have to say, I thought he, he looked quite good, actually. Yeah, he looked very strong, and uh, you know, his, his, his ability on the ball was second to none, and uh, made some great forging runs in, in the first half. And he, he'll, he'll be pleased with his first half performance. And uh, as you say, you know, just Arsene Wenger's looking to get to other players now uh, some, some match, uh, to match time. Nice touch by Rizinski onto Oxley Chamberlain. Ramsey, clever ball in. And there's a shot and a goal for the Gunners. Lucas Podolski has fired the ball in. It was a clever approach play. And as you can see, the supporters delighted with that. Podolski with the goal. Clinical finish by Podolski. Good build up play by Arsenal. Oxley Chamberlain does well. Ramsey plays the ball out wide into the box and Walker takes a great touch. I, th I thought he was going to spin and try and hit it with his left foot, but he just sets up Podolski there on the volley and he just dispatches it with his fantastic strike, actually. Got a very sweet left foot, isn't he, Podolski? And uh, he's only been on the pitch for three minutes and he scored. Yeah, good, good start to the second half by Arsenal. Um, as we said, we thought there'd be some, some goals uh, in the first half. wasn't to be, but uh, no, very, very good start from Arsenal. Lucas Podolski. Uh, scored quite a few goals in his first season in an Arsenal shirt, now, despite being a sub towards the end of much of the season he had. Still a very promising first season has to be said in the Arsenal shirts Jenkinson Rosicki good play by Thomas Rosicki getting away nice pullback shot comes in from Walcott should have done a lot better with that it's straight at Yamagishi such a shame because it was such good approach play fantastic play by Rosicki done uses strength to great ability and uh, to, to great ability there he come uh, Urara and Arsenal pressing pretty well so far. 
but uh, World Cup will be disappointed with that finish. Yeah, I think uh, Theo could have done a little bit better, but uh, as we said, Rosicki done fantastically well. Went uh, past two, two players there with uh, use of strength to, to, to great effect and uh, just laid it back to, to Theo and uh, unfortunately he couldn't uh, dispatch it. Like I said, Chapin was a bit careless there, gave the ball away. Iraro on the attack. Tomiansky couldn't take any risks there. He's out for a corner. Yeah, done the right thing. Just tipped it over the over the bar there for a corner. So a corner for Yurara. Which Ricardes will take. And searching for an equaliser. Fans getting behind their side. A little corner though, it's too deep for Nasu. Little Mozart, Thomas Rosicki. He's at uh, that one again. As well as good technique, but it was good strength, wasn't it? Really good strength there. Just cuts it back there nicely for Theo Walcott. Uh, as you say, made the keeper work, but he could have done a lot better, I think. Here he is again. Walcott's using his pace. Good touch. Nice touch in by Oxlade Chamberlain. Ramsey. Mikel. And again. Rosinski touches it in. Irara are struggling at the moment. And Savoy this time mops up. Oh, Saitama Stadium. Which, as I said, is uh, not full tonight, but there's a good crowd in, very good crowd in, enjoying the entertainment on show. Here come Arsenal again, Rosicki's fed Walcott, he's got all the time here, and uh, well, he took the wrong decision, but fair play to the goalkeeper there, Yamagishi, he read it really well. Well, as you can see, he's tried to go around the keeper there, done everything right, fantastic through ball by uh, Rosicki. Theo's made a great run, one on one with the keeper, and just fancied him to go around the, around the keeper. I think it was, he, was, he was trying to do the right thing because um, he had so much time. Um, as it turned out, keeper done very well. The last two matches now, obviously, we're still playing this one and uh, in Nagoya. I don't think there's any exaggeration, but Walcott could have scored two hat tricks. Here come uh, Yorao, that's a poor ball in, very wasteful. But I don't think that's unfair, Jimmy. I think Walcott could have easily scored five or six goals by now in these two games in Japan. Yeah, no, I think that's fair, fair comment, Tim, to be fair. And uh, as you see here, just a lovely little slide ball there. Theo beats the offside trap, tries to go around the keeper, just doesn't pull it wide enough for the keeper, and uh, in fact uh, made it easy for the keeper in the end. Yeah, credit to the goalkeeper. And kept his eye on the ball, didn't he? And Yamagishi denied Walcott. Doesn't really matter at the moment. It's what happens in. Once the season kicks off, that matters. What's far more important is that Walcott's getting into the positions. Podolski. There was Rio Miyachi. He heard the roar of the crowd go up there when he touched the ball. He can score tonight. There'll be pandemonium here. And there's a confirmation of those substitutions. Arsenal have made five at half time. Looks like a lot more urgency now from, from the Arsenal team going forward, especially in the last third. I think the manager's probably said to the lads, just, just up the tempo when you get into the last third, which it looks like uh, they're very much doing, and uh, they're getting in at will. Um, and I fully expect uh, Arsenal to score two or three goals in the second half. Podolski, the goal scorer. Here's Rio Miyachi. Here he goes. Good defending, though. And Good play. Savoy. Good play by Rio, nice and positive. Attack the fullback. Fullback done very well actually, but uh, good uh, promising play by Rio. That's a lovely ball through. A chance here for the home side. That's good to, to fed in by Cossielli because he was the wrong side of his man. 
but he just got back to make the challenge on Kuroki. Good defending, um, got him too easy there to be fair, but uh, and he didn't f really fancy the, the forward, he, he didn't look confident going through at all as, he, as the ball slipped uh, into him. He, he looked over his shoulder to see if there's any support rather than just uh, concentrating on uh, you know, having a strike and getting the, getting the ball on target, but uh, good defending by Koscielny. He's very good at getting back, isn't he, Koscielny? He's quite quick. Yeah, he's very good at recovery, um, but I think he got in there a little bit too easy. Whether or not he was trying to you know, play the offside and just step up there, but he definitely got caught, but he recovered well. Ball played in by Mikhail, good idea, just too strong for Lukas Podolski. Yeah, just a little bit too, too much of weight on the pass there, but uh, again, promising signs for Arsenal. Game getting a bit more stretched, you know, the home side, Urara give the ball away. This time really actually losing out. Musaki. It's a pestering by Ramsey, he does that well actually, Aaron Ramsey. You won't see many players cover more yards on the pitch in the second half. Yeah, and I was very, very impressed with him the other night as well against Grampus. I think he uh, thought he'd done really, really well up and down, box to box. I thought he had a fantastic game and he started the second half really well. Ricardes. Nice skill, and well, that's a foul, isn't it, from Jenkinson. Good bit of skill, I think he was looking for the free kick, but I think once he pushed it past uh, Cole Jenkinson, Jenkinson tried to get back to him. The slightest of touches, but I don't, I don't think there was anything in that at all, I think the fellow's just fallen over. And Sekaguchi, that's the first change you are have made today, with that run, he's won the free kick, and it's in Position for Ricardo is to put some quality into the six-yard box. He's Brazilian, so you anticipate a bit of flair here. Whips it in. Fabianski did well. I don't know if he was trying to go for that top corner or not, but he certainly whipped it in. And uh, Fabianski does, does really well to get a hand to that. See, enjoying themselves. With a well-known chant called "We Are Diamonds," to the tune of "Sailing" from Rod Stewart. Away! Shot comes in as the equaliser. Well, oh, that's a turn up for the books. Great strike, to be fair. Ball comes out, a bit of a ricochet, it falls to uh, who was that? I think it was UK Abe, I think. But Abe, it was indeed. Yeah, it just sat up really nicely, like, nicely for him, and he volleyed it. Fantastic strike. Be good to see how Arsenal respond to this. I still feel, feel that Arsenal will run out to uh, wor worthy winners at the end. But uh, good to see that the home uh, home side get a goal there, and uh, obviously we'll get their fans right behind them. I think it's his last bit of play, actually, because I think he's gone off. And the home side have made a number of changes here. Got to keep up with the ball. And there's the goal scorer. He's going off. Um, I can tell you that Koroki's gone off as well. It's not a bad last touch, is it? To go off on it. <laughs> Notice that uh, uh, Nobahisa Yamada has come on, and uh, also Toyofumi Sakano. So impressed. Uh, was it twice a week ago? Been known to uh, pop down once. But, uh, twice as pushing it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a foul, isn't it, by Aaron Ramsey? Just caught the player. He did take a bit of the ball as well, I think. But first time Yamada gets a touch of the ball. Welcome to the game, isn't it? Yeah. Another change has been made here. Nagata. Get these names in a hurry. And some changes for you. As you can see Yuki Abe, the scorer, Shinzo Kuroki, replaced by Toyofumi Sakano and 
Nobuhisa Yamada. They're the players who've come on. So I think this is the last game Arsenal will be playing in Japan for a while. So, uh, their lessons are not going to be wasted. Should be okay. Practice down the sushi bar. I do like Japanese food as well. Here come uh, the home side there. They're on the, the push for a, a second goal here. Arsenal just need to step it up again. It's Ricardes. Not convincing from Kosciani, but it's ricocheted off Sanya into the hands of Fabianski. And the home fans, as you can see, very much enjoying themselves here. Just uh, under half an hour to play. You can see that goal team has, has lifted the home side. Obviously, the, the crowd are getting behind their team, and uh, they look a little bit more confident now. The last five minutes since since the goal, they've uh, obviously passing the ball around, and they, they feel they can get something out of this game. Just seeing uh, the other Arsenal chain, maybe at half time, Rio Miachi coming on at half time. I think on the home side again, pressing for a winning goal maybe here. Flag stays down, an opportunity, that's a very good save by Fabianski. He had to be brave there, and he was. Still not cleared. Is that a handball against Jenkinson? It was close. It was uh, Sakana who was in, in initially with the chance, but all of a sudden, you are at Red Diamonds. We're just up the tempo here. Big shout for, for penalty. I think uh, their manager, Urawa's manager, was... Uh, well, he's on his feet, but he's, he was up in arms there, calling for the for the penalty shout. I'm not quite sure it was, but uh, just before that, Fabianski, great save. I'm not sure if it was offside. I'd like to see that one again. He looked offside when he got in. But nonetheless, it was a great save by F uh, Fabianski there. Good spell, isn't it, for the home side at the moment? Very much so. It's uh, Koji Noda, who's another player who's come on. I think they made about five changes themselves now, Yurara in the second half. Look at them, they really are at the moment. Why did the referee not play the advantage there? I mean, that's a strange a, decision. That was a ridiculous one. I mean, the home side in full ascendancy there. We'd have thought he'd play the, play the advantage, but uh, he's, he's messed up on that one. You can see the Rara players uh, giving him a little bit of stick there. In two ways, it was uh, a bit of a destroy, it wasn't it? A big uh, that, was, that wasn't even a foul, it was before, wasn't it? Um, we saw Rio actually coming across on Kojima but uh, free kick is taken quickly but it frustrates me when referees sometimes do that it just seems common sense doesn't it They'll give the, the game at least another second to breathe it's a good pullback there's a chance and it's over the top this time uh, strike coming away from uh, Yajima another substitute who's come on good work by another sub but Noda to make the chance yeah Bit of a half chance, sir, but you can see that uh, Rua have got so much more confidence now. They've got a real uh, spring in their step. They're taking the game to Arsenal for you know the, for the first time in, in, in the whole, whole of the match. Really, obviously, been full of confidence since the goal, and uh, they see they you know they can see themselves getting something out of this game and maybe even going on to win it. Well, the better side at the moment, aren't they? That is for sure. Arsenal have been a bit quiet since the goal. Yeah, they have, and uh, just around the, uh, the time of the goal, you know, Arsenal were making clear-cut chances. You know, two or three t occasions they, they could have, you know, they had very, very good half chances. But now, since since the goal, uh, the home side have scored. Uh, you know, they're, they're very much, uh, very much on top. Good zip to the home side's play at the moment. Ricardes. Nice foul there, isn't it? Play will continue this time. And headed away by Cossielny for another corner. Yeah, this time the referee does play the advantage. And uh, Ruar does a, puts a really good ball in with his left, with his left peg. It goes out for a corner. I think he just gets caught there a little bit as well. Cossielny does very well there. And he's been challenged by Sakano, who's now leaving the line. The fans are starting to sense they could actually win this. Ricardes with the corner. Nine, nine. 
Good catch by Fabianski. There's Ramsey looking for the run of Walcott. Walcott's got them there in front of his man. Theo Walcott has gone a bit wide. Angle's a bit acute. He has to come back to Rio Miachi. Miachi jinx one way, then the other. Rosicki, Oxlade Chamberlain, Jenkinson. Podolski looking for the run of Mikel. Good defending. Better though from Arsenal, Oxlade Chamberlain. Manages to get through a couple of challenges. Still Oxlade Chamberlain gets a shot away and it's hit the post. Good play by Oxlade Chamberlain there. Yeah, it picks it up fantastically well, does everything right, struck it really well and just uh, wasn't to be, just hit the post there. Immediately Urara coming forwards. Goes from one end to the other. Ricardez is in there. So is Sicano. The tempo is up significantly here, and Arsenal hit the woodwork for a third time. Yeah, just uh, just won't go in. But uh, no, good play from Arsenal, and uh, Arsenal will be really pleased that the, the lads are playing really well here. Ramsey, Podolski, out to Rio. Almost found Podolski, Wazizki's in there, good challenge coming in. That was needed as well. Now Walcott. And he's gone straight into Urara. And uh, Sekaguchi. Jenkinson doing his best to usher him away. Not a bad try, it's wide of the goal from Yamada. Nobuhisa Yamada trying his luck from distance. Yeah, it was worth an effort. No one, no one closed him down, so he just thought I'd have a pop here. He, he struck it quite well. He's, he's trying to get in, inside that uh, far post, but uh, I think Fabianski would have had it covered anyway. Had a good uh, spell of pressure, Urara. And the fans appreciating what has been a, a very entertaining game this you never know it could be an upset on the cards Arsenal made a change Zalalem is on fabulous talent 16 years of age he mentioned on Monday how impressive he was when he came on he made the, the third goal for Theo Walcott with a wonderful through ball he's on for Alex Oxlade Chamberlain yeah, looking forward to seeing him tonight. He'd done so well, as you say, Tim, the other day when he came on against uh, Grampus. Full of confidence, lovely grace on, on, on the ball, and uh, not phased by anything as well. Ramsey, who loves to try and get forwards. Good idea, just too much pace on the pass for Walcott. Yeah, right idea. Theo's always looking to get him behind there with his pace, and uh, Ramsey knows that. Uh, he just like, tried to slot him through, but unfortunately just overhit it slightly. Another change has been made, Umasaki's now come off. Replaced by number 11, uh, Sekiguchi, that was made actually some time ago, that change. Being well poised. So straight to Fabianski. i be interested to see if Arsene Wenger elects to make any more changes. See, he's made another change. Zelalem is, uh, is on the pitch, it appears. Very gifted play. That's a nice touch by Podolski. Rio Miachi. Podolski, Miachi's away, a chance. He elected to play it across. Fantastic play. Fantastic, intricate play. Rio does really, really well there. Fantastic, positive. Slides the ball across the box, no one there to tap it in. It's 
That's good covering by Mikel. It's a corner, though, to your other Red Diamonds. I think Oxley Chamberlain's the man who's gone off for uh, Zelalem. Yeah, very good to see Zelalem on, on the pitch. 16 years old. Uh, must be fantastic for him to be out there playing with all these uh, superstars at Arsenal. And uh, another uh, good opportunity for, for him to shine. So it's a corner which uh, Ricardes will take. He's one of the few players who's still on the pitch from the start. And short this time. And so Sekiguchi plays it in. Sanya heads it out. It was a foul by Podolski. Uh, but it was uh, Ramsey, not Podolski, who made the challenge. It's a, a free kick. A couple of times he's been penalised now. Here's Rio. Rzyski. And Zelalem. Jenkinson won't get there, but he will manage to uh, earn Arsenal a corner. Sekovici came across and cut it out. Cop with the corner then. Getting plenty of time on the pitch, isn't he, Theo? He played for quite a long spell on Monday. Free header there. Oh, it's been saved from Cossier. I think he might have been penalised for a foul, actually, from the corner. Yeah, the referees give a foul there. Good, good ball whipped in by Theo. Unfortunately, Kishani just... Oh, not quite sure if that was a free kick, to be fair. But uh, keeper's done well there, just kept it out. Legata was the man who went down. A couple more changes. Choose that Pom is coming on for Arsenal. And uh, going on, a couple more changes, it appears, for Urara. Legata. Uh, Takuya Nagata is coming on, placing, in fact, one more change. Kojima's the man going off for them. Another promising youngster, Akpom, comes on for Theo Walcott there. Ugojin's the man who's come off, he nearly scored in the first half. Replaced uh, by Tadaki Hirakawa. Jenkinson did well there. There's Zelalem. He shapes his body, goes one way, then the other, just 16 years of age. Certainly been uh, impressing. That's a good touch on as well for Rio Miyachi. Ramsey did well. Mikel. Podolski. That was nearly his second goal and nearly managed to give Arsenal the lead once again. Yeah, good play by Arsenal. Mikel, nice little ball back. And you think Podolski just gone side foot that into the back of the net, but uh, unfortunately for him, he just, just scuffed it slightly. Just bubbled just before it got to him. Uh, in defence, in, in his defence, but uh, I think he'll be looking to uh, to have done better there, really. Yes, he should have hit the target, really. And another change now. Hard to keep up with all these. Okamoto has come on. Placing Savoy.
1 1 then. And, uh, just under a quarter of an hour to play. The challenge coming in from Mikel. Cialni is getting a full shift, it seems, this evening. Miss Monday's game completely with that ankle knock he picked up in training. Nice control. Ramsey this time wins it fairly. And he gives it straight back. Cardez is in there, he goes down. And, uh, a little bit of annoyance there with Podolski. Podolski was angry because he thought he was holding his face for no reason. Yeah, the, the foot was a little bit high, but uh, I think Ricardo's made the meal of that. He made out he's got kicked in the face there. Um, I think he was a little bit worried that his hairstyle was going to get messed up there. But uh, nothing in that at all. Yeah, as you say, it was a free kick, but an extravagant fall down, wasn't it? I said that I'm definitely going to the barbers and, and, and asking for that one tomorrow. See if I can pull it off. You won't be able to, it's a Saturday, Jimmy. Be fully booked. Plus, I've got very little hair. Worth a try, though. Yeah, I didn't want to say that. Free kick. Anyway, he might have the last laugh here, Ricardes. Good try, but it's straight at. Uh, Lucas Fabianski, he watched it well. Yeah, decent effort, but uh, not really troubling uh, Fabianski there. Nice and comfortable. Good height for the keeper. Zellalem. Jenkinson. And what's very impressive to see with this uh, young 16-year-old is the fact that all the senior players are more than happy to, to give him possession of the ball. That just tells you a lot, doesn't it, Jimmy, about how much confidence they have in him? It does, very much so, Tim. Yeah, they, tr they trust him with the ball. Uh, what I like about him is, he, like I say, he's only 16 years old, but he's... He's, um, he's on phase. Here, here come uh, the home side, though. He did actually give the ball away there, didn't he? As soon as we talked that up, uh, the first time he, he conceded possession, and just for a moment, it appeared that they might be in. The player still gone down, that's at Yajima. I think it was Kosielny with the intervention, but if you take away that little bit, bit of play, in general, the Arsenal players are more than happy to give him the ball. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you see Zalim on the ball, he's very, very comfortable, he's full of confidence, and he's not phased or overawed by, by the, any occasion. He, he, he looks like he's been playing in that centre midfield slot for, for years, and he's only 16 years of age, which, which is quite remarkable, really. And uh, obviously, he's got a hopefully a great uh, a great future ahead of him. Yeah, it is exciting. There's, there's no two ways about it. Even allowing for the fact that we, it was like the commentator's curse there. He got caught in possession, and Nasser wasn't any punished for it. He, he is a very very uh, promising young talent. There's no no two ways about it. This is that man, Rio Miyachi. I mean, a good tussle, isn't he, on that left-hand side? He'd dearly love to score a winning goal, wouldn't he? Ramsey. Yeah. 
Oh, it's a mistake, a chance here, and Arsenal have scored. And it's the substitutes, Akpom. And there's a celebration to match. It was gifted to him, but he was in the right place to take advantage. Arsenal back in front. Yeah, ni nice tidy finish. I was just going to say to him that we haven't seen much of Akpom uh, since he's come on, but uh, actually, he, he, you know, nice little ball over the top there. He doesn't quite get there, but the keeper's spilt it and it's fallen to him and he's finished it lovely. And again, there seemed to be a misunderstanding here at the back. Not sure if there was a call from the goalkeeper. The header was a loose one by Sekaguchi. See here again, and as a result, the misunderstanding allows Akpom to do what uh, all good strikers do. And Sniff had an opportunity and put it in, and actually the defending was by Nagata, the substitute. Yeah, he's finished it really well there. Yeah, good to see. Coming up through the Arsenal youth system, Tubes Akpom. It's his fourth goal on his Asia tour. He obviously knows where the goal is. Not long remaining here. Another warm evening. Arsenal leading by two goals to one. Sanya. It's a foul on uh, Zalalem. It's a free kick. Here he is. Keep an eye on him. Riyami actually giving chase. Five minutes to go. 2 1 to Arsenal. Ramsey wins it back. Here's Mikel. down it uh, looks a little bit like Noda and Tim with Akpom nothing sinister in it at all it's just two players going for the same ball yeah it was a hefty challenge on, on Akpom um, but the defender seems to have come out worse for wear it's good for Akpom to take them, t uh, them types of challenges get him used to the physical game in, 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 e in England in the UK, he'll be delighted with his goal tonight. Yes, he will be. He's been enjoying himself out in the Far East. Great experience for all these players, especially those that are trying to make their names at Arsenal Football Club. He's in some, somewhat in a lot of pain, isn't he, at the moment? This is a strong challenge as well. Here come Arsenal. Kaczynski, Podolski. Shot comes in, it's just wide from Ramsey. Now Ramsey then, not far away. It was uh, Miachi, Podolski and Rosicki all involved in this move. Yeah, decent play. Nice little setup by Rosicki. I think, go on, pull the trigger. Just wide of the post.
of Sidak Pom. Game seemingly drawing to a close now. unless you are I can do something here we'll play it in Sanya did pretty well there because uh, ghosting in was Ricardez now it's Arsenal's turn with Rio Miachi goes on his own shot takes a deflection he could he wanted glory there didn't he and didn't find the, the finishing touch Here's Jenkinson looking for the run of, run of back. I think Jenkinson might have been fouled there. It's going to be a minimum of one minute added on. Jimmy, how would you sum up this uh, this trip to Japan for Arsenal? We've had two matches this week. There's been uh, some good football on show, some some goals. Could have been a lot more. Yeah, I think Arsenal Wenger will be really pleased. Uh, both victories, which will be pleasing. Um, but obviously at this this stage of the season, it's very much pre-season still. Uh, it's all about getting the fitness and getting the conditioning of the of the uh, on the physical side. But uh, no, really good, uh, especially tonight. Uh, more of a stiffer test tonight than obviously from the other night. But um, yeah, Arsenal can be really pleased. Scored two goals, by far the better team overall in the game. Although this game was a lot more tighter than uh, than the Grand Eight game. So I think uh, obviously from the home side's point of view, they can think themselves uh, they've done really really well. They uh, put on a good show for their supporters, but. Uh, Arsenal by far the better side on the night. OK, well, we are now deep into stoppage time. Jenkinson has a good touch. And he wins a throw. And that is the final whistle. So Arsenal have run out two one winners here in uh, Urara. And... Uh, an ovation from the supporters, a good crowd in tonight. It was a good, tough examination for the Gunners. They came through at the end. They really should have scored more in this game. That man there, Chubes Akpom, got the winner after a mistake at the back from the Urara defence. And he was in the right place to take advantage of that. It was nil-nil at half-time. Arsenal hit the woodwork twice in the first half. Theo Walcott could have scored a hat-trick. That man, Lucas Podolski, put the Gunners in front, though, with his trusty left foot. To be fair to Urara Reds Diamonds, they did equalise. Yuki Abe, their defender, scoring after a corner wasn't dealt with. And then Arsenal went up and scored that late winner through to Zach Pom, who was one of a number of uh, substitutions made by both sides in the second half. And uh, it comes to an end here in Japan. After two matches during the course of the week, Arsenal running out 3-1 winners in Nagoya on Monday and 2-1 winners here at uh, Urara Red Diamonds, who are a decent side. They had their chances in this game as well. They certainly had their moments. But it was the Gunners who just proved to be that little bit stronger at the end as their preparations continue. It's finished here then, Urara Red Diamonds 1, Arsenal 2.